Hey everybody, out here in the bow shed slash saw shack, <laughs> uh, working on a 1010. Uh, yeah, we're uh, going to change the carburetor situation a little bit. I don't know if anybody else out there has a 1010 that has adjustable carburetor from outside the air box I'm making this one so it does so we're going to take this 1010 that's solid across here but see these bumps in here this bump this bump and this bump those are little spots my camera don't work very good there are little spots you'll be able to see them if you look in your 1010 and see that there's a spot to make it look like this see these three holes one two three holes and they come from, they go in there, and they have extensions to the to the adjustable jet on the carburetor. The high, and then there's one underneath it for the low. This is the low. The high's out already. <clears throat> I've already kind of started the project, so we'll catch up kind of where I left off. So now, what the jets look like. The normal jet looks like this and it has a regular screwdriver slot in it to adjust the carburetor but you have to take the top cover off and the air filter out to adjust most of them well when this is done I won't have to take that off and the reason I'm doing it is because <coughs> A saw runs different with an air filter on it. And when you have the air filter off, it's getting unobstructed air. So when you adjust your carburetor and then you put your air filter back on and your top cover back on, a lot of times you'll notice that it will idle lower, right? Because it's getting less air to the system. So it's running richer with the with the filter on than it is with everything off so by doing this i won't have to take that top cover off right right and this is what the other ones look like see that big slot that's a big slot in that and that slot this is the extension that goes to the outside See that ball on the end? That ball goes right in there. And that ball has little nubbins on it. Can't see real good because my camera's terrible and I'm fogging it up. But that those little nubbins go in that big slot on that jet just like that. Goes right in there. And then it can turn like this so it can be at a weird angle to get to those spots I showed you that we're going to drill out. So your angle doesn't have to be perfect in order for that to line up and make the adjustment from the outside. Okay. <clears throat> so now we're going to drill a hole. We're going to drill a hole. So we're going to drill a small hole first and then a bigger hole and then a little bit bigger hole part way through. There's no perfect science to this, I don't think, so. There's 
the pilot hole. Make sure that that little jewel fits right in there and it does how's everybody doing hopefully everybody's doing great just kind of hanging out today <clears throat> got a bunch of stuff done so I thought I'd come out here and tinker around in the shed doesn't have to be perfect because like I said that thing that ball swivels it'll adjust yeah thanks for all the new subscribers and all the everybody that's been here for a while I love it I love seeing new subscribers coming in it's so fun so cool <laughs> okay so now we'll take this jet out of the other carburetor that I showed you Kind of chilly out here. I guess I probably should have built a fire today, huh? So yeah, if you want to make your carburetor a little more adjustable, a little easier to adjust, this is a uh, great way to do it. If you can find the parts. One and a quarter on the low. Take that out. Let's see here. Just got to find the right jets. Right jets and those little adjuster deals. Might go to your local saw shop. They might have something around. Well, 
Looks like we might need to adjust that hole a little bit. All right. Well, I'll bring you right back. Thank you. All right. We're back. <clears throat> so when you do this, just uh, when you go to put your, when you go to put them in, put the bottom one in first. The bottom one in first. Which would be your low jet. Oh, it's not that little do on there. Whoops. I'm kind of springy. Well, maybe I can keep a hold of it. You guys all go over and watch Pilt Polk's video. <laughs> Pretty awesome. The video he made is awesome. It's way awesome. I'm so excited. Get it close. Pops right in there. Look at that. Look at that. And we have carburetor adjustment from the outside of the air box. Hmm. Imagine that. We'll be right back. <laughs> Hope you're enjoying the show so far. <laughs> Well, let's see if it worked. Looks a little different now, eh? We'll try it with no choke. champ like a champ
you know, the uh, the idle, the one for idle, that's good. That will be a little bit trickier. That might be on a different video. Yeah. Cool. All right. Thanks for hanging out with me. Hope you enjoyed it. Not real uh, great on the camera part as far as uh, being able to see stuff. But you get the gist of what I just did, right? Right. Any questions? Leave them in the comments. Everybody take care. Love y'all. Tasman's rolling.